We want to go to Capitol Hill, bring in NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Leanne Caldwell. Leanne, it was a long night for lawmakers. Many spent the night responding to the latest developments in Ukraine. We saw Senator Marco Rubio tweeting a lot. Mm -hmm. What's the reaction, Ben? What can we expect from Congress today? Good morning, Joe. So the reaction has been pretty unified at this point from Republicans and Democrats and leadership and most rank and files condemning Putin and saying that there has to be some strong action against him. Now, of course, there's been some dissent where some people are criticizing President Biden for not being strong enough. But generally speaking, at this very moment, they are trying to give their support to the administration and their opposition to what Putin is doing. For example, you mentioned Rubio's tweet, uh, long tweet threads overnight where he was getting information from the CIA. He also said the people of Ukraine are tough people who will never accept being ruled by Putin. Pelosi, uh, the Speaker of the House, goes on to say that forceful leadership in imposing the first tranche of swift and severe sanctions by the president was necessary and good. Senator Lindsey Graham, who's been very outspoken about this, tweeted that he continues to provide, that the, that the U.S. should continue to provide Ukraine with defensive weapons as well as good intelligence. And and then Senator Durbin of Illinois, the number two Senate uh, se senator, says um, that, that Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine's sovereign land is a dire threat to the established international order and must resolutely be deterred. But I will say there are politics that are likely to seep into this, especially as the former president, Donald Trump, was on TV last night praising Pres uh, president Putin. And so that could become an issue for Republicans and it could taint what happens up here too. Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.